Good morning. Today I'm going to show you how to install electronic ignition uh, into a Bosch distributor. Now this is a four-cylinder Bosch, but it works just the same with um, six-cylinder and eight-cylinder versions. This one is in particular comes out of a German motor on an Essex, which is out of a Saab, uh, 1971 Saab uh, V4 engine. Um, First, we pull the distributor cap. We're gonna pull that rotor off of there. And we're gonna remove the ignition points. Um, we'll be right back. Okay, we're gonna go ahead, pull the rotor off, and we're gonna go ahead and remove these right here. So we need a flathead screwdriver. Go ahead and loosen this screw right here. Until it comes out. Okay, just pull this up and out. We have a ground wire here. So we pull that screw, put the ground wire aside, and then you're gonna unplug the points from right here. Now I'm gonna use a little flathead screwdriver, pull that out of there nice and gently. We're also gonna go ahead and we're gonna remove the condensing unit here, the condenser, and flathead screw again. And take that off. Go ahead and pull this out. And of course, it flies across the room for me, but now that we have this plate visible, we're going to go ahead and take our Petronics kit and we'll go get that and we'll be right back. Okay, so this is our Petronics igniter kit. We open the box, pull out the contents. A lot of times it's really good to read the directions. It always has the directions in the box. All right, now this is for a vacuum advanced distributor, which is what we have, four cylinder. We're gonna go ahead and the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna open this little bag. And we're gonna get ready to put nuts on. So we pull this bag out with a little hardware. All right, we got the little screw for the bottom plate, which is this one. We're going to put this bottom plate in first, in this position. Now remember, this little dimple right here goes in that hole in the distributor right there. That little dimple goes in that hole right there. So we're going to put it right there. We're going to take our brand new screw from the kit. We're going to put it right there. We're going to get a flat, uh, Phillips screwdriver right here and we're going to go ahead and put that in there tighten it down okay now these don't have to be adjusted like points so once we tighten this down okay and we put our igniter now the first thing you do we got to feed the wires through okay feed them through just like that okay the rubber here has to be pulled through Okay, and then our ignition setup sits right down on top of those studs that come on that piece that we put in. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull this through. You don't wanna pull the wires, you just wanna pull the, the rubber. Sometimes it's a little tricky here. So we push it through and pull the rubber. Until it pops all the way. Okay, now that we got that through, we're gonna put the nuts on here. We're gonna tighten it down. Uh, this came with a ground wire here, so I'm gonna put it back. We don't necessarily need it, but uh, it's here, so we're just gonna put it back, and there's no reason not to. So we're gonna put that there. We're gonna put the nuts on. We're gonna tighten them down. Okay, once we got all that, we're going to set the air gap um, 0 0.010 0 inch to 0 0.050 inch. Now, I don't have a feeler gauge, but uh, that looks pretty uh, open. So 
Make sure that these are loose. All right. And there's a little screwdriver in here to move it closer. Now, that looks like we're close enough. So I'm gonna go ahead and hold it there and we're gonna tighten this one first. tighten this one and that should be it just make sure we got the ground wire out of the way and then we're gonna put the ignition rotor on just like that and then we're gonna put the distributor cap make sure it lines up with the notch right there and we're done now we can install it in the car